hi welcome everyone in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to paint an abstract black bush rose i'm going to be starting with the colors viridian green sap green sorry for the messy palette pyro scarlet red quinacridone rose and burnt umber so to create the core of the rose i'm creating tiny little c letters one going right side up and the other going the opposite direction and with the C going the opposite direction, I'm gonna swing the tail of that C in a spiral. And with that spiral, you can gradually increase the thickness of the C as it begins to get bigger. And here again, I am creating this sea-like formation surrounding the flowers to create the petals. Again, the farther you you move uh, away from the core, the thicker the sea or your spiral is going to be. Also, take note of the white spaces in between the flower petals that we're creating. The reason why they're there is so that we can create some type of volume or dimension within the flower. And I will go over how we can correctly cover those white spaces without obliterating them in the end of the video. So now that we're finished with painting the first layer of the flower, we're gonna to begin to paint the first layer of the, uh, the leaves. Um, I initially painted these a little bit too thin, so I will go ahead and correct the uh, size or the width of the leaves in just a few minutes. Also, you'll notice that I am painting uh, rigid uh, lines on my leaves, which is entirely up to you. It is not mandatory. You can definitely straighten those sides. I just felt like it would be a very fun thing to do and give our abstract painting a little bit of style. Um, I feel that it does offer just a, a tad bit of realism. So yeah, it's entirely up to you if you wanna join me on this fun activity of painting rigid leaves, but um, yeah. <laughs> So I started on the leaves because I just kind of wanted the um, first space to dry. But now that it's all dr all dried, I'm gonna go ahead and add a second layer of paint to our. Um, I'm speeding this up so that it won't take so long. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna add a second layer of paint to our flower. Again, very very careful with the white edges because we're gonna need it to add a little bit of dimension to the flower. Okay, so now we're gonna begin creating the dimensions of the flower. And what I'm doing is I'm using darker paint, which I'll go ahead and 
link the mixture um, in the video for you guys but it is a darker red and I'm focusing on the outskirts of our C shapes or spirals so not so much of the middle portion but the 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 sides and the reason is because the flower essentially is a, a red color it is dark yes but it is a red color so we do want some red showing within the middle but to create the dimension or a 3d look might I say um, you want to focus on the ends of the spiral or your C shapes for now Okay, so here you'll notice that I am filling out just a bit of the white spaces, not all of the white, just because we want to achieve depth and dimension on the flower. Although this is considered an abstract painting, it wouldn't hurt to add a bit of realism. Um, you'll also notice that I'm dragging the darker paint towards the opposite side of the spiral or C shapes when painting. Um, this is because a black bush rose naturally is black it's like a blackish red or the color how can I say that it? it's like a blood color kind of sorta um, if you are not familiar with the rose um, you should definitely google it on um, google the images but it's an absolute beautiful rose um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint or drag some of the dark um, paint towards the opposite side leaving just a thin layer of the red out And here you'll notice that I am starting to add more or drag some of that dark paint um, towards the opposite end of the larger petals, um, leaving a very thin layer of red and white.
And you can see here, I'm adding a third layer of that dark paint mentioned earlier in this video to create the look of a black bush rose. And again, I'm also being very careful with painting the light. Um, I am making a little, making it a tad bit thinner, um, but still they are present to again, add depth and dimension to the, our flower. And now with the leaf, we're gonna go ahead and paint a, our first base, which is kind of watery and thin, which is totally okay because we're gonna add an additional uh, layer to those leaves. Then once the first layer is dry, we're gonna go ahead and paint the second layer with a darker color mixture. Um, I highly emphasize dry <laughs> or suggest dry because um, you don't want it to come out messy um, with painting or painting that second layer. So you wanna make sure that the first layer is completely dry before you add a second and third layer. And there you guys have it, an abstract black bush rose. I hope you guys love this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on the next video.